You know, having had a chance to go back and watch my old review on the first Evil Within title, I was really a bit hesitant going into its sequel. But I'm happy to say now that not only did the Evil Within 2 address the problems I had with the first game, but it actually exceeded my expectations and gave me one of the best games I've played all year. The plot takes place three years after the first game, and Sebastian is still recovering from his experiences in Beacon when he is approached by Agent Kidman and is told that his daughter that he had believed to have died years ago in a fire is alive. Sebastian finds out that his daughter is now trapped in another STEM system, and Sebastian agrees to go into that STEM system to rescue her, only to discover that once he's inside, that things are just as bad as they were in Beacon, if not worse, since the world of the STEM system is falling completely apart, making this a race against time for Sebastian to fight his way through hordes of monsters and psychopaths and discover exactly what happened to his daughter and rescue her before it's too late. I think the decision to have the plot focus on Sebastian's family was a great choice, as it makes the main plot far more personal and gives us more depth on exactly why Sebastian was the gloomy character he was in the first game, as outside of a few notepads, we really weren't given much backstory on him as a character. The game's plot also works perfectly with the overall tone and visual style that the game presents, as while I was never really scared from beginning to end, I have to admit that there is certainly some disturbing imagery here and moments of suspense that got my blood pumping up a bit. The music and sound design is also very well handled, while never entirely committing to a single tempo and has a balanced amount of action and suspenseful moments. The gameplay for the most part is pretty identical to the first game with only a few noticeable additions that I believe not only improved upon the original format of the first game, but actually gives it a bit more diversity. For starters, a good amount of the game is placed within this imaginary town of Union, and it's somewhat on an open layout which allows you to choose your path in which direction you want to go to reach your objectives. Being a survival horror game, you are advised to stock up on ammo and resources and to apply stuff as much as possible, and having all these pathways really helps. There is also the addition of side missions which really can help you out in a big way, as completing these side missions can not only provide you with more information on other characters trapped within the STEM system, but they can also grant you access to weapons that can prove very useful in certain situations. The upgrade and craft system are also back and work just as they did in the first game, as killing enemies and collecting this green gel will allow you to upgrade certain attributes to Sebastian's character and combat performances. Gathering items will allow you to craft weapons, ammo, and resources to help you along the way. There is also the inclusion of a couple of mini-games that you can take part in, and depending on your performance will grant you rewards that can also help you on your way throughout the game. The boss fights are also very challenging and unique, and to my surprise, even had a cool moment of bringing back some familiar faces from the previous game. If there's any main problems that I had with the game, it would be that I wish that some of the collectibles were a bit more important or useful, as several notepads and even a few picture slides don't really add anything to the overall plot. I also wish that the game had spent more time with the side characters and expanding the world of the game. I know that Sebastian is the main character, but most of the cast is either there to just do their thing and simply disappear, or in Kidman's case, only pop up a few times throughout the game, and she's supposed to be an essential character, and despite the fact that we now find out more about the secret organization Mobius and that we're venturing into another STEM system, the overall world still feels very small and does a very piss poor job of setting up a possible sequel just like the first game did. But despite these minor problems, this was still a fantastic game that really knows how to handle the survival horror aspect perfectly. Well, I gotta say, in conclusion, Bethesda does it once again. They have given us another really impressive game. And this is another example of exactly how a studio handles a sequel to an already great game. And since the Dead Space franchise seems to be dead, and since I'm not really a fan of the direction that Capcom has taken Resident Evil, I can honestly say that the Evil Fin could be, if not, if it isn't already, the quintessential survivor horror franchise. It does everything that you would expect. It never forgets its roots. It keeps the survivor horror aspect without risking the one to be more action. It does the same thing the first game did, but puts it in a new setting and tells a much de deeper and different type of story. By adding 
the element of Sebastian's family, you make it a little bit more personal. And that's something that we did not have in the first game. So you're able to kind of give a similar experience in terms of a presentation, but telling it in a different way that makes it meaningful. I think that the gameplay elements and the changes are definitely a major improvement by giving it a somewhat open world environment with Union. And it's not quite as linear as it was in um, the Evil Within 1. And therefore, it is a prime example of how you make improvements and because of that this is definitely one of the best games that i've played all year in a serious contender at least for me for game of the year now if i had to give the evil within 2 a rating i'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10. if you're a fan of survivor horror or you're looking to see if the follow-up to the evil within 1 was worth the wait it absolutely is and you should definitely pick it up when you get a chance if you like my game review free to like comment down below and please subscribe to track me in my future game reviews and like always Thank you guys for watching. You're awesome, and I will see you next time.